We now move on to the installation procedure for the stability chamber. Please ensure that you utilize the assistance of an Oswald service engineer or any qualified service engineer for the installation procedure. Firstly, place the equipment at a designated location on a leveled floor. Maintain a 15 inch gap between the back panel of the equipment and the room wall. Connect a continuous water line with a regulator to adjust the floor, flow of water to the reservoir input nozzle. Connect the chamber drain pipe and the reservoir overflow pipe to a drain line at flow level. Connect the wheel cover bottom loose panels which are provided as per the notation written on the panel. Open the main door and the viewing glass door. Place the tray supports in respective slots on either side of the chamber. Place the trays on the supports. Connect the steam generator heater to the socket mounted behind the gate. Connect the steam generator heater to the socket mounted behind the equipment. Connect the mains plug to a 230 volts AC supply source. I will now explain the manner of setting some of the individual components which are a part of the Oswald stability chamber. The cool switch is used to switch the cooling system on and off. The temperature controller maintains the temperature inside the chamber as per the required conditions. The humidity controller maintains humidity within the chamber as per the set conditions. The safety controller safeguards against an accidental temperature rise and cuts off the boiler heater and air heater when the temperature reaches to safety control temperature. The stability chamber also has a steam generator and a reservoir. The steam generator generates steam which is fed to the chamber for achieving the desired level of humidity. A few other parts in the stability chamber are the air circulation chamber motor which is mounted on the rear side with its shaft extended inside the chamber and is fitted with an impeller. The impeller on rotation blows and circulates air inside the chamber. The air heater, also known as a dry heater, is concealed behind the stainless steel partisan. It provides for heating and achieving the set level of temperature within the chamber. The heater is controlled by the digital temperature controller. A continuous on and off action helps to maintain an accurate temperature. The stability chamber also contains two sensors which are mounted in the inner chamber. The RH sensor and the PT100 sensor. The RH sensor measures the humidity and is connected to the digital humidity controller which in turn controls the boiler heater. The PT100 sensor measures the temperature and is connected to the digital temperature controller which in turn controls the chamber dry heater. There is also a PL light mounted inside the chamber for illumination to enhance sample viewing. The door switch is provided to automatically switch off the chamber illumination light when the door is shut and switches on when the door is opened. 